tonight. Levels in the flooded Lake Whitney are finally starting to drop as the Whitney Dam continues pushing water into the Brazos River. Yeah, the problem Lake Whitney is looking at now is its flood pool is more than half full. Our very own Curtis Quillen is here to explain just what that means. Hey, Curtis. Well, hey, guys, we spoke with an official in the Lake Whitney office this afternoon who tells us the lake peaked at about 555 feet, leaving only 18 feet left in its flood pool. But the levels are starting to drop now so they can get ready for the next round of rain and allow other area lakes to empty. Well, right now the lake level is, is a little over 20 feet above its normal level. This is the Whitney Dam Wednesday afternoon. Splitting Hill in Bosque counties, the Whitney Dam is the state's last defense for floodwaters directly on the Brazos River. The lake's doing its job perfectly. You know, we, we hold rain during a flash, you know, during a rain event so that it doesn't flood downstream. And then as downstream conditions improve, we start letting the water out. Lake Whitney is one of five U.S. Army Corps of Engineer flood control lakes in central Texas in the Brazos River Basin, but it's the only one directly on the Brazos River. Therein lies the problem. After a recent round of rain, Grady Dempsey, the Corps' regional operations project manager, says Lake Whitney is 55% into its flood pool, forcing them to open the lower gates on the dam near Laguna Park. You know, we've just now kind of turned the point where uh, the lake crested uh, late yesterday, uh, and so we should start to creep down at this point. It filled us up. The ground is saturated. Our lakes were completely full. We are almost just back down to normal pool uh, when this happened. And all five lakes are having similar issues. Some, like Waco and Whitney, have every single one of their parks closed because they're at least partially underwater. The Houston area, the Katy area, flooding, Sugar Land, all that uh, flooding down there, and how much worse that would have been if you had had upper Brazos Basin water running into that. We were holding that. And Dempsey says that's by design. It's really the only flood control lake directly on the Brazos. Now Dempsey also says lakes Aquila and Waco need to release water. So the Corps is kind of trying to play a balancing act for all the levels in the area lakes. But he expects the Brazos River to continue flowing high but below flood stage for quite a while. Guys. Yeah, it all depends on the rain. We sure have gotten a lot this spring. Thank yep. you, Curtis.